Hey, what's good, Maji Gang? Welcome back to my channel here at Maji Got the Team. I'm very excited for today's message because I can feel it. You know what I mean? I feel it. I feel it spiritually that this is going to give like somebody not only an activation, but some type of deeper awakening. This message is going to be like, damn. All right. Um, it's going to be really, really good for somebody at this time, especially with this um, solar eclipse happening on April 8th. I'm getting like, if you've been having questions, like what does this all mean? You could be having some symptoms of the energy shifts that are in the air. Shout out to my high priestesses watching and my high priests, okay? Because I'm getting like, your psychic abilities are going to be even heightened and I'm getting, you're going to be receiving more wisdom. Somebody here is the wise one. Comment below. I'm the wise one if this is you. Because I'm getting somebody watching me is very, very wise, but you could also be very secretive with this information that comes from the ethers, the cosmos and such. And I'm also getting something about a portal. So I am going to be doing this reading a bit different. There's going to be many messages coming through, not one particular message. So please, as always, my love, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. And uh, like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you're new, Welcome, I'm Maji, and I'm a high priestess psychic here on YouTube, okay? And I love to spill the tea, honey. I love to spill the tea. And if you don't know, now you know Maji got the tea, though. Yeah, I got the Maji touch. Okay, so first of all, I'm getting your royalty. I'm getting your royalty. I'm getting you're going through a coronation right now, a spiritual coronation. I have actually made several uh, readings pertaining to this message years ago. So you might want to check those out. Just write uh, coronation and Maji keywords on YouTube um, or in my channel. You can see it there, okay? Because <laughs> I'm really getting like, you might want to check those past videos too. If some of the messages in my channel are repeated, it's because somebody here really needs to get that message through and it's gonna it's it's like you're just gonna continue to get more and more confirmation so don't get mad for the repeated messages get excited because that's just the double or triple confirmation from the universe that this is your reading and that this is happening we have the moon on the bottom okay and then we have sunrise there we go me talking about the solar eclipse okay i am getting there's gonna be major transformation i'm hearing worldwide transformation so shout out to my cancerians watching let me know what's your zodiac sign i'd love to see who in my channel, um, you know, is watching what are the Zodiac signs so I can upload the tea on my Zodiac signs too. Let me know if you're interested. And also if you haven't um, reached out on my Patreon, make sure you guys check that out. Link is in the description box. But the number nine could be significant. I'm also hearing 1997. And oh, get excited because somebody watching me right now is about to hear their name in this reading. So that's going to give you a confirmation. I'm getting spirit tell me like, I'm going to give you their name or their initials. So stay tuned. Okay, stay tuned. So right now I'm getting, um, right, the earthquakes, natural disasters, if you guys have paid attention, like a lot. I'm getting like something, I'm going to explain energy collectively. I'm getting like what's going on around the world energetically, not just with us like humans, but with Gaia, with Earth. And that shift is actually going to resonate with what you're going through. I'm getting you as a chosen one. Yep, you as a chosen one. Comment below, I'm chosen. I could definitely pick up that you're chosen because I'm seeing generational curse breaker. So you're here to do some big things. Not only you're here to alter DNA, to change DNA and transmute DNA, but also um, at a global scale. Definitely write a global emoji, the little world emoji thing. If you're really resonating that you're here to impact the world in many positive ways, because as we have with the natural disaster here on the bottom of the cards right now, I'm just being led to look first before I begin this reading, what's at the bottom of each deck that I'm going to be utilizing. And the number 38 is coming through. The number 11 could be significant as well. 11, 11, you could be seeing that number. That's because not only twin flame energy, but it's portal energy. You're about to access some form of hidden information. So I don't know where you're from, but I'm in New York City. And we actually experienced like a quick earth uh, earthquake. Like not really. Like we felt the symptoms of the earthquake. Like things started to shake, but it was from New Jersey. And it was a 4.8 um, earthquake. And ironically, we have... 4 8 right april 8th the solar eclipse occurring so you know if we're adding on those details maybe spirit wants to tell us what this is going on what this is meaning but i am seeing that there's natural disasters going on and somehow it pertains to the shift that's about to occur in your life bro sis 
queen, you know, king, let me know because I'm saying like, this is going to be a crazy, I could feel it. It's going to be one of those readings I just never done. You know, I could really feel it and it might make you nervous. I'm hearing, don't worry, just sit down, grab your tea, get your water, whatever you need. Okay. But yeah, there, um, there was a definitely like, I started to feel the shaking, um, in the house and everything. And I'm like, what's going on? And I realized like an hour later or so that it was an actual, um, it was because there's an earthquake going on in New Jersey and we were feeling it. You know what I mean? They obviously had a bigger impact, but we were feeling it. And it's so rare to feel that in New York City. Like the last time that happened, I can't even remember. It was the first time for me. And I've lived here for like over 20 years. So that was very interesting. Like I just felt like, whoa, what's going on there? Um, and there's something that the universe is telling us. Our ancestors are telling us like, okay, there's transformation, there's a shift going on. We don't always have to look at things negatively. All types of transformations can be scary, but definitely I'm getting get happy. This is a, this is a positive message because I see there's a special event coming and we know that the solar eclipse is actually a special event. So I am getting this tied to it. You could be actually a fire sign, okay? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I'm getting something about fire. Like, and again, fire is used to release. Fire is used to transmute. I'm getting the phoenix rising. Comment below, I am the phoenix rising. If this is resonating. Also, I'm getting somebody here should start writing some, commenting some fire emojis in the comments below because you're on fire. I'm getting like, you're not even in the room and people are talking about you. Yeah, because I'm hearing like chatter, like there's gossip. My ears are starting to ring. Let me know if your ears starting to ring. But I'm really getting like, you're not even in the room and you're the topic of discussion. People are talking about the moves you're making. You're making some type of moves no one in your family has ever done before. Comment below, nobody has done it like me before. I don't know what you're doing or how open you are to discussing it in the comments and letting us know because here on the Maji Gang, we are a family, okay? We are a family. But I do know that there's a special event Spirit of Seeing is coming. Again, I'm starting to read only the bottom of the deck and there are so many messages because i'm going to be using several so get ready comment below a special event is coming in my life okay i don't know if this is your birthday a wedding something you know or you're expecting or maybe this is universal then you know the universe is granting you this giving you this blessing by the way, if you haven't checked out my community post recently, do check it out because today I did post a rainbow that I saw. So, you know, rainbows mean miracles and blessings. So get ready to receive blessings. Comment below. I'm ready for my blessings. Just have your hands open. Be ready to receive is the universe telling you, okay? Sunrise, again, that solar energy, sun energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, right? Happy birthday, Aries. But I'm definitely getting the number six, harmony. It's like we're bringing back harmony where there was chaos. And also, if you guys notice these um, headstones here, right, this, it discusses time travel and portals. So there is something going on here. I feel like, and you're wearing white. I feel like this is you, whether you're male or female. It's symbolizing you, purity. On the bottom of this deck, we have Mother Mary. So some of you guys can work with Mother Mary. Maybe you've been praying on Mother Mary. Depends on your beliefs, religion, whatever. But I do see here Mother Mary is definitely signifying the purity okay someone here could also be pregnant but i am seeing here conception yeah you could be pregnant purity of heart or maybe you're pregnant with a project an idea or actually pregnant whatever it is comment below i will give birth to this idea it's very pure okay i'm also getting yeah okay that's a look listen it's a very clear message whoever you are watching me right now spirit is saying for at least three days or more till you feel the need to stop just just wear white wear white OK, because I'm seeing Archangel Gabriel also just wearing all white and everything here mostly on my desk is just white right now. So there's this essence of purity. There's this essence of you being purified, your heart. See that fire that I told you comment below. My heart is on fire. My heart is being cleansed. It's like you might be crying a lot, actually. And this is good, right? Tears is how we cleanse the soul. I can definitely resonate with that. Somebody said that in a quote. I don't know who. So don't take my word for it. But somebody here needs to either buy a rosary or maybe you need to bless your rosary or um, do something with rosaries because I'm I'm seeing that and I barely kind of pay attention to that detail. It's the first time I'm seeing that. The number 18 could be significant, but it's like your heart is being purified. And in the, in, in the way that I'm hearing it, that it's being purified for you is in your faith, in the way that you're loving yourself, that you're healing your mother wounds, the way that you're connecting to yourself. And you're also transmuting all that pain. 
right? You dealt with a lot of pain, not just in all types of relationships, okay? Like, and I'm hearing a lot of toxic relationships, a lot of trauma. See, that generational curse breaker that you're doing right now, I'm hearing you're fearless, coming below, I'm fearless. Like, you're really waking it up. You're really waking something up in your DNA and it's being altered in some way with fire, which helps transmute, which helps release. And also during full moons is great to use fire for manifestations. So maybe you've been doing candle work or whatever. I'm hearing it's working or maybe you need to start doing that if you haven't. But see all that color blue? Again, a lot of like self-expression. You being pure of heart. Comment below. My heart is pure. There's no more like resentment or holding on into anything. You're really somebody very different. People are really talking about that. That's what's being spoken to about in these rooms. They're talking about maybe the special event are, is, is being done by somebody that you don't even know because the moon is here there's a lot of secrecy there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not really seeing with your eyes but maybe with your psychic eyes right you're beginning to feel intuitively like something's coming something big's about to happen and it's not just this solar eclipse right i'm, th I'm feeling you feeling something intuitively maybe even feeling a little bit of fear spirit is saying don't worry okay um but there is a lot of like things that are being hidden. People, maybe even in, in, in higher ups, I'm hearing higher ups, people in powerful places are speaking about you. I'm also hearing if you're watching and you've been trying to manifest a home, this is your confirmation that you've manifested this home. Comment below, I manifested my home, my dream home, right? So what else is on the bottom of the deck? We have Capricorn energy here with the devil. So I am getting a lot of uh, deception, right? Trickery energy, a lot of manipulative, toxic energy around you. There's a lot of people that have been trying to control you. And there's a lot of people with this purity of heart that have been trying to take you off your, your path to purify yourself, take you off your path of faith, right? I'm hearing like, yeah, like they're basically snakes trying to whisper in your ear like they did to Adam and Eve, if we're getting biblical, you know? But yes, I do see these chains. Remember, I'm telling you that you're the generational curse breaker. Comment below. I am the generational curse breaker. I have broken the curse. You definitely have. There's something here that you've definitely broken with these chains. And it might have been, some of you guys could be like celibate right now. I'm hearing you restrained from the lust and the desire of, of, of that sexuality. And you're beginning to purify your heart and wait for the right one. Comment below. I'm waiting for the right one. Okay? Yeah. I'm also hearing that you need to get some lapis lazuli. It just fell on the floor. There we go. That's a confirmation for somebody. Get some lapis lazuli because you need to speak up. Okay? It's, and Archangel Gabriel's here. He's definitely that self-expression uh, angel that helps you with your creativity. So especially if you're like a singer or rapper or... Um, you know, you have a podcast or you do some like public speaking. You definitely need to work with Archangel Gabriel. Ask him for guidance. Get that lapis lazuli so he helps you work on your throat chakra and confidence and self-expression. Especially because you're North Node. You're somebody's destiny watching me right now. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. <laughs> but your destiny is to speak up. Comment below, my throat chakra is open. I am ready to express myself. Are you ready? Because I'm hearing that your north node, what's in your destiny, what's written in the stars for you, has to do with your creativity and your self-expression. But I do feel that growing up or for some amount of year of time, you have felt this um, illusion around you that has made you feel like maybe you are chained. I'm hearing those chains are broken, honey. They're all in your mind. And I was having a discussion with my sister about this. And, you know, not to bore you or anything, because some people, I don't know, so our, our, our attention spans could be a little, you know, not trying to shit on anybody watching, but... I do, I do tend to tell a little bit of stories in my channel if you're new here, but I was having a conversation with one of my sisters today and she did tell me the story about this elephant. So I'm going to put these cards down real quick. So I'm getting a lot of messages from there. I'm getting Baphomet energy. Like somebody here is definitely a Satanist working against you, maybe even doing spell work with this moon. I'm getting during this solar eclipse, beware a lot of demonic energy. A lot of demons are going to come and try to enter through the portal. Come and blow. No weapon from against me shall prosper. My family and I are safe. We're covered. Okay. We're covered. Whatever you're believing is, you want to say, Jesus, go ahead. It's a, you know, all, all, everybody welcome here. I just wanted this to be a place of love, but not everybody welcome. Hold on. Not this energy here. This is definitely being rebuked the instant it tries to know. No, I'm talking about light workers. Anybody that's a being of love and light is welcome here. Thank you, spirit. I had to, yeah, I'm hearing somebody here needs to set boundaries. You need to set boundaries. 
Because somebody here could be doing sex spells on you, doing spells on you so that you, you know, sleep around a lot or that you fall into that lust and temptation. Comment below. I will not fall into lust. I am a pure being of heart. Go back to your heart. Connect to your heart chakra. Remember who you are. Because I do see, you know, this trickstery, this illusion, false illusions around you. But yes, going back to the story. Yeah, I tend to be all over the place here. <laughs> But it's a New York City thing. We talk fast. We talk a lot. And yeah, et cetera, yada, yada. But anyways, she told me uh, the story of this elephant, right? There's this elephant in the circus. And he is chained to his ankle. And anytime he tries to pull to free himself, he realizes that, you know, like these chains here, that he's tied. And he's basically not free. And he's enslaved. And so he tried doing it so much. And he never broke free. That one day, the circus people cut the chains and the elephant was already conditioned that it will never be liberated, that this is its environment now, right? That it didn't, it didn't run away. When the chains were actually broken, when it got what it always wanted, it was already adapted and conditioned that they weren't free. The chains now weren't just physical. It was mental. Comment below. I break all mental chains in my life. I break all physical chains in my life. I am free of any curse in my life. I am free from any hex. Preach, honey. I'm hearing you need to speak. You need to speak this stuff into existence. And I have to say this fast because unfortunately, my battery is going to die. So I need to charge this phone after and... I'm getting so many messages. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm not going to stop it and get the charger because plugging it. Anyways, <laughs> let me get to the T. Comment below. Mike, you got the T though, if you're feeling this. But look, you're breaking these chains, these mental chains. Because like I said, the, the moon is an illusion, right? It's playing these tricks. It's putting you in this darkness. I'm getting beware of the darkness. The chosen ones during this season are going to get the mostly attacked. But honey, no matter how much we're going to be attacked, we're going to get more protection from God. Comment below. God is protecting me and my family. God is protecting me. God is giving me more weapons. God is giving me more strength. Yes, yes, and yes. The devil will not win. Comment below. The devil will not win because I am getting this deception. Like a lot of stuff is going to start coming to light, even about the government and about what's going on behind the scenes. But I'm getting a lot of satanic work is being done behind the scenes during the solar eclipse, causing natural disasters. That's also what I'm seeing here. So I have to be careful with what I'm saying, guys. Just have to have confidence, though, that I am protected. But yes. So, yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Something about the, you know, blessings and good karma. Coming below, good karma is coming my way. That good dharma, the things that you did, they're coming back to you, right? Multiply times 10. I'm getting there are 10 blessings coming your way. That's why I kept seeing that rainbow. Somebody here is born on September 9th. Or there's something significant about 9, 10. Okay, maybe that's where you live. That's a phone number. I don't know, but I'm being guided to tell you about that. Um, maybe the special event will happen on 910. I don't know, but you're definitely manifesting a new home. See, we have the Queen Elizabeth II here. So again, I am picking that your royalty. Comment below, I am royalty. Or you can simply type down a purple heart, okay? You're definitely royalty, okay? You're a being of royalty and you're needing to be reminded. Like I said, you're currently going through a spiritual coronation. You're becoming unified with your spirit, mind, body, and soul. Yes, like I said, right now your energy could be low because you're dealing with some dark energy around you, right? Because I am seeing that there is somebody around you that's blocking your blessings. You need to be careful. Comment below. All my blessings are coming my way. Yes, it's your time to shine. A lot of cards are just falling by themselves. So you could be experiencing some supernatural thing. That's because people have sensed or dispatched a whole bunch of demonic entities to you, but it can't touch you. Comment below. They can't touch me. I'm untouchable. I am covered. I am protected. It's your time to shine. It's your time for your coronation. It's your time to get that respect. It's your time for you to see your who, where you come from. It's your time to receive the throne. Comment below. It's my time to receive the throne, to sit on my throne, to claim. And I'm also getting like, you need to work more on your femininity, okay? Working on more of nurturing yourself. So yeah, your name could be Elizabeth. There we go. There goes the first name. But you are a queen. Yeah, it's coming back up. Somebody here definitely is, is of royalty, um, definitely is about to run into some money, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, definitely something about wealth coming through. The blessings that were blocked are now unblocked. Thank you, spirit. Look at the stars on her earring. Somebody here does jewelry or you like to wear a lot of gold or you're about to start glowing even in your fashion. Nina Simone. I love Nina Simone. 
Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Bit in the sky, you know how I feel. Yeah, she did song, something about freedom. So there's, it's like you're reaching freedom, you're approaching. For somebody's name is Anna, Nina Simone. Maybe this is your favorite artist. Maybe I'm mentioning something. But you could be a singer because Nina Simone is definitely a beautiful singer. If you guys don't know, check her out. But you a rebel. Come below. I'm a rebel because I definitely see you're a rebel. You're here to shape things differently. Maybe look up her story. That's going to give you some insight. Then we have Dolly Parton. Yeah, some of you guys definitely could like her. See how it says shine? Dolly Parton. Definitely look up her story. Somebody's nickname could be Polly. I'm also getting something about Texas, okay? You could be blonde hair. I don't know. Um, but look, it says shine. Comment below. I was born to shine. It's my time to shine. Like I said, people are literally gossiping about you. They're talking about you in private. See? In private. In private. But I am seeing that you might be going through some form of transformation that could be challenging you. And I'm hearing this greatest challenge is what you need. See, you're a cosmic angel. Comment below. I'm a cosmic angel. You also have cosmic angels like Archangel uh, Michael and Mother Mary protecting you. You're protected. They're like, they're like, yeah, you see butterflies. This is your reading. Let's go out on a date. Okay, so somebody wants to ask you out. Like I said, there are people talking about your beauty. Definitely, you could see this confidence. It's like you got in the room. People talk about maybe your hair is something about your hair too. Um, spiritual healer. Like I said, shout out to my high priestess, my gurus watching. This message is for you. Tower readers attacking other tower readers. Okay, so there we go. Then, then there's something else about other tower readers attacking other tower readers on YouTube. So if you're a tower reader here on YouTube, know that there's other people that are trying to do satanic work against you. But no weapon form against you shall prosper, honey. You blessed. Look, speaking dirt on your name. Like I said, there are people like you're not even in the room and that's why they can't face you. They can't tell you in person. Look, the solar system. See, there's something here happening with the solar system right now. And this... Um, solar eclipse i'm getting ufo experiences somebody here has experienced more ufos experiences or you're going to start to after this eclipse also i'm getting somebody's karma is that they have std look alchemy see somebody here has been practicing magic and alchemy here towards you um to maybe get a disease but you're not you're protected like i said look then we have entrepreneur shout out to my entrepreneur okay shout out to my entrepreneurs if you're not spirit is trying to make you one yeah shout out to my hip-hop artist or fans of hip-hop yeah, I'm getting like you have some people pressed and stressed. Comment below. They're pressed and stressed. That's that's what I'm hearing. They're pressed and stressed. Let me continue because I'm so sorry this message had to be just like that. Yeah, somebody here could have OCD. You're gonna go through a major change in career or job or something. This is this could be actually happening already. Yeah, look, it's right there. Y'all already know Maggie got the Tito. But yeah, that's coming through. Also, if you start making like videos or something, I'm hearing your your videos or reels are going to go viral. I'm hearing hidden plans. Okay, beware of the enemy's hidden plans. But I'm also hearing God has hidden plans for you too. You know, trust your gut too. There's like this special message of like, trust your gut, trust your gut. Yeah, see, somebody here is experiencing paranormal activity. Let me know who you are in the comments below because somebody here could be experiencing like light flickering or something going on with their cell phone or electricity or you could be like hearing something. I don't know. That's like these demonic entities, like I said, trying to, yeah, trying to bring doubt into your mind. Don't don't let that happen, okay? God's telling you there's a new beginning in your life. That's what you're seeing, 11-11 or 1-1-1. Yeah, see, cursed home. Somebody here has cursed your home. Has cursed your home and that's why you're feeling what you're feeling. Also, I'm getting somebody is trying to steal your inheritance. I'm always getting those downloads in my channel. Somebody's always trying to steal somebody's inheritance, money, business idea. I don't know. Could be your spiritual inheritance as well. Then we have Lord Ganesh. There we go. Ganesh, abundance. You could be from India. It says, um, removal of obstacles. Comment below. All my obstacles are being removed. All my obstacles are removed. There's something about any obstacle that you had, any challenge that you had, it's being removed. You are, you said, sorry. It says here, clear path ahead. Yeah, your path is being cleared. And guys, look, I just gave the elephant story and there's an elephant right there. So you can have an elephant tattoo or that could be your spirit animal. We also have lotuses. Okay, so I'm hearing knowledge is going to start to blossom to you like a lotus or you're blossoming like a no lotus too 
you're unfolding here, yeah. Or something is unfolding before you. I'm getting something about tattoos. Like you could be from like Cali, Florida, somewhere where it's chill or something like that. Look, um, what is hot or sunny? Because I'm getting a lot of sun energy. See all this light? It's like you're beaming with light. Comment below. I'm glowing. You're you're emitting some crazy light. You're shining. It's like holy moly. Who are you? That's how people are looking at you. That's what they're saying about you. Anyways, you could have like a lotus tattoo, an axe tattoo, a certain tattoos here something like that a snake tattoo maybe or you could have like certain bracelets like this because it's popping up right you also may have a company where like you make your own hats i'm getting that or like your own jewelry you could be 29 years old then we have mary magdalene so your name could be mary also if you haven't watched my mac mary magdalene readings make sure you do because we have a lot of jesus energy in this in this reading right now and and, and a lot of us know jesus is coming okay it says mother mary mary magdalene so 18 and 19, divine feminine, devotion, sacred sexuality. A lot of people find you attractive. They're desiring you physically as well. Um, like I said, some of you guys could be literally celibate, but you're still looking hot. Your body still looks good. You're li definitely like looking younger than your age. I'm getting somebody's like <laughs> looking at your breast or something. I don't know why that's coming through, but yeah, I'm definitely getting like you switch up. Like sometimes you just wear some like baggy clothes hoodies, but then sometimes you wear something really nice. Um, if you went to a bar recently, I'm getting like people felt like you're somebody that had a lot of choices. You're, you could have red hair, red short hair, or like auburn hair. Also, I'm getting something about roses, tattoos of roses. Look, celebration. I'm telling you, there's a special event happening. I don't know what it is, but you're about to have a celebration. Comment below, I'm about to celebrate. Yeah, like literally, there's a celebration. Like I said, could be spiritual, coronation, could be a spiritual, but... For others, it could literally be some form of celebration here where a lot of people are going to gather and celebrate you. Comment below. I'm about to be celebrated. Yeah, your name could be Gloria. Look at the love. A lot of people love you or you, they're talking about how you're a love, like a being of love. I'm also getting like you're somebody here that's just spreading love and light and that's what's coming to you. And um, definitely there's love in the car. Somebody does want to ask you out on a date. Then we have Helen Keller feelings, right? So your name could be Helen. See that rose? I did mention the rose. And Mary Magdalene is the symbol of roses, red roses. Maybe get some red roses. Or somebody here is going to gift you uh, red roses. So your name could be Serena. I'm getting Serena and Venus energy here. Williams could be a last name or something. But definitely look up like their story. Like maybe you need to spend some more time with, with your uh, sisters here. But with Helen Keller, right, it's like it doesn't matter what disability or something that you have, like you still are here in this universe to do great things. And maybe sometimes you it's, it's better to not see with just the eyes, right? Use your intuition, um, use your feelings to see as well. So there's that short message. Look, jealousy. I'm telling you, there's a lot of jealousy around you because you're shining, because you're being celebrated or because you're about to shine and be celebrated. It depends the stage you are when you're watching this. Then we have 777. So anytime I see 777, I know it's jackpot. I know it's not just a spiritual awakening and initiation. It's it's money coming my way. Come on below. Money coming my way. Money loves me. Money loves you. And remember I said in the beginning that you're very wise. See, you're going to you're going to be celebrated for sharing your wisdom or maybe that's what you're stepping into. Also, you could be seeing a moth. I just heard moth or maybe you have a moth tattoo. Oh my gosh, look celebrities. Yeah. So there's celebrities talking about you or you're about to go to Hollywood. Maybe you live in Hollywood. Maybe you always dreamt about being in Hollywood or maybe you're like I don't want nothing to do with some demonic stuff. Whatever it is, you have a mission in Hollywood even if you're not going to sign up your soul in this contract, okay? But financial issues if you had any financial issues i'm hearing that's over with because you're about to be a celebrity comment below i'm about to be a celebrity and like i said shine right dolly parton with shine so you're about to shine and be seen comment below i'm about to be seen this is what god wants for you this is what the universe has ordained for you okay shocking news coming out it's you that's coming out but there is some truth that i did say it's gonna come out that has been hidden for you so people are gonna be exposed during this season the more you're shining the more you're gonna be exposed in the good light and then the more the enemy you're gonna be able to see because they're gonna hate on you gemini libra aquarius 
coming through the seized loved ones want justice yeah you got the seized loved one watching over you being like listen touch not my anointing collective downloads i'm telling you these are collective downloads right now and you're receiving some too if some of you feel like god is separating you it's because you're about to be elevated comment below i'm being separated because i'm about to be elevated i'm about to be elevated also i did tell you if you're seeing 11 11 it's because of your twin flame never give up it will happen whether it's in love or in your career or whatever is it that you want maybe it's your house whatever it is that you want to manifest spirit is saying don't give up it's about to happen okay let's continue i'm getting somebody here has very like like attractive lips also you have like a little mole or something here like a little something there um archangel haniel friendship moon cycles psychic abilities there you go honey you got psychic abilities somebody here could have like tattoos of the moon you, you like to wear a lot of lavender or tattoo crystal i'm getting something about tattoos here but definitely i heard seagulls maybe you're working with seagulls you could have like a large flower tattoo here but see it's like there's a lot of like new friends you're gonna start making other friends that are psychic like you yeah and and also like i feel like you need to work with the moon cycles then you have archangel um Jeremy, look at all that purple royalty energy. Look at one, 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 guys. See, y'all, y'all, not can make it up. One, one, one. So there goes your confirmation. Also, the number three could be significant. It says visions, dreams, and visions. And look at the Illuminati sign in the middle there. So you're being watched. You know, you're being watched, um, especially in the astral realm. So I'm not gonna make it up. If you want to know more information about that, you can book a personal reading on my website. But I do feel like you're going to start to get a lot more visions. Your psychic abilities, like I said, in this eclipse are going to become more psychic, more heightened. You're going to be more intuitive than ever before. Comment below. I'm going to be more intuitive than ever before. Like literally, there's some vision that you might have already received. Somebody here, his name is Emmanuel. Okay. There's a vision that you or like I said, Jeremiah, Jeremy, whatever. Okay. Han, Han, Hanson, Hariel. Yeah. So you could also have like like different color, colorful highlights here for somebody. But what I'm getting, it's like you're literally going to get more and more psychic visions as you're getting right now, or maybe you're about to step into this. But pay attention to the visions and the dreams that you're getting, what you're seeing. It's very important right now. Pay attention to your dreams. I always say this in my channel, but this is very, this is very important. Yeah, put an amethyst under your pillow if so, if so need be. Because somebody here is a musician. There we go with music. Somebody here is going to be a big superstar in music, maybe in hip-hop. Um, Earth star. Yeah, you're a star. Comment below. I'm a star. And it says answered prayers. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, literally, your prayers are being answered. Somebody here, if you're a divine masculine watching, like, you're handsome as hell. People are talking about how sexy you are. Look at that. If you're a divine masculine watching, damn, you is handsome. Okay. You could also like to wear the Eye of Horus or you have the Eye of Horus tattoo here or you like Egypt because look at this Egypt, this divine masculine energy. Also look at all these tattoos. You could have an Ankh tattoo, Isis tattoo, the Sun Ra tattoo, hieroglyphics tattoo. This is a very specific reading. I need to know who you is, okay? You got Horus and Horus is also definitely like protection, right? Seeing with the all seeing eye. I do feel like you're about to start seeing some freaky shit that you've never seen before. And you're going to find out just how important you are to the universe and how psychic you are and how you can use those psychic abilities to bring healing, love and light and awakening. Okay. We have the very thing that challenges you can be transformed into the great test of strength. Okay. So yeah, right now, any challenge you're going through? Definitely. Look, we have the sirens, the energies of the sirens and the mermaids listen to your inner compass listen to your intuition listen to, you could be a pisces energy here listen something's coming look at the ship you feel something's coming so why aren't you trusting that inner compass trust look at also it's this mermaid with a dragon and this is the year of the dragon so you could be born in the year of the dragon i'm also getting this is your year comment below this is my year this is my year somebody just like loves watching tinkerbell or something like that um, but yeah, it says you are capable of, of a magical creation. Like I said, you're about to give birth to something. You're here to create something and you're going to be celebrated to it. Maybe you already created it or you're in the midst of it, but it's beautiful. And look at the light that is illuminating what you're bringing to the world. It's going to literally shine. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to emulate so much light across the globe. Hmm, that's powerful, bro. Whoever you are, I need you to believe that you're powerful. Like feel it like this is sick. Listen to the messages of your dreams. Guys, comment below. Maji got the tea, though. God hire me. Who gonna fire me? Listen, can you read that? Can you read that? Because that literally says, listen to the messages you're getting in your dreams. And I just told you that with the uh, Archangel Jeremiah. 
He's right here saying it. Pay attention to your dreams. Maybe wear purple. Do something with purple because he's wearing purple. I'm also getting Saint Germain. Use Saint Germain, the violet flame, to transmute, right? But you need to listen to your dreams. They're saying something. It's like they're talking to you in the street. They're telling you the divine plan that's going on in secret. It's between you and God. It's between you and spirit. You feel me? Your talents and gifts are calling you, honey. Comment below. I'm here to answer. Answer that gift that, look, you have a talent here. Some is a musical gift. It's calling you. And what are the dreams revealing to you? Because I'm getting, if you pay, if you add those two up, you're going to get an answer. Somebody here is, like I said, you were born to do something creative. A lot of like mermaid siren energy. Sirens, like I said, are my singers, right? Sirens are very attractive. Sirens, like you hot. Comment below. I'm super sexy. I'm beautiful. I'm attractive. I'm handsome. Whatever. You can comment below. Look at the heart. Look at all this music. Like I'm hearing you have the voice of an angel. Um, you need to relax. I'm hearing you need to relax. Look, listen, you could be having with uh you could be having dreams with fairies. You have you must have witnessed fairies. Because look, then you see a lot of eyes in this in this card. You see all those pairs of eyes at nighttime. There's a lot of beings watching you, good and bad. You have three angels protecting you, or three fairies protecting you, but there's a lot of demonic entities. And if you see that full moon, looks like the solar eclipse. Look <sighs> in bedtime again. In your dreams, there's a lot that you're receiving, but there's a lot of eyes on you from other entities and demons or other. Yeah, some of you guys could be like um, having, uh, I'm heard sleepwalking, but that's not what I meant to say, but maybe that could be significant. Uh, you could be having like, what is this called? When it feels like there's a demon sitting on you and you're about to lose a dream. Oh, I literally know that word and now I can't like, and your body can't move. Somebody commented down below because now I can't even think about it. But yeah, you could be having that paralysis, sleep paralysis. There you go. Thank you, spirit. All right. So you need to relax more. Something's going on while you're sleeping. It's like you're being protected, but somebody's watching, trying to monitor your spirit. Make your own magic. Yeah, this is this is your time to shine, to make your own magic, to compose your own music. Somebody here could actually play the harp. But it says it's okay to put yourself first and take care of your own needs before others. Yeah, it's okay to take your time too. There goes the roses again. I'm hearing you're the grow the rose that grew in the concrete. Maybe you love Tupac. I'm also getting I'm hearing Tupac. Yeah. Yeah, look, descended. It's like remember why you descended down to earth. You have a mission. You need to trust yourself. Okay. So I'm gonna end the reading here before this phone dies, and then we have a weirdness there. But I am gonna say again. Get an amethyst, put it under your pillow, listen to your dreams, get a journal, write it down, because right now something crazy is happening to you. And it could you might actually be feeling like aliens abductions or something. Like I see a lot of eyes watching you while you're asleep, but I see three angels or fairies protecting the shit out of you. This is not to scare you or anything at all, actually. But pay attention to what they're trying to tell you, because who knows what they're trying to tell you. I can't tell you. This is private information between you and them. And I'm telling you you have psychic abilities. I see it all over the reading, even before the cards right so pay attention to that i'm also hearing self-love remain calm do some meditation because you're here to coach people maybe you might be interested in coach you need to relax somebody here just needs to relax yeah you, you're doing too much you need to relax spend time with family do something sweet dreams yeah you need to sleep more connect with your dreams do lavender yeah just drink some chamomile tea put lavender under your pillow whatever you need but pay attention to your dreams please and pay attention to this message because you're looking for answers. They're trying to give you a very important message, okay? Sending you guys so much love and light. Till next time. Peace.